Yeah, it's great. You know, any time you get to uh, you know come and, and represent the NLL of the All Star Game, it's uh, it's incredibly flattering, and, and um, you know it's an honor to be out here. The, the best players, best lacrosse players in the world, and and uh, just a bunch of awesome guys. So uh, really proud to be a part of it. You guys went on a run there. What was what went to that? Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it's tough. We were, we were getting we were getting our butts kicked at the start of the game, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, you know, it, it just it, it's funny. We don't you know, we, we don't get paid a, paid a lot of money to do what we do. Um, you know, the reason why we do it is that we love it, and, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a great league. It's a great product, and um, you know, it's one of those things where you, know, you got thirteen thousand fans coming out to watch an All Star game. Um, yeah, I think you'd be challenged to see that anywhere, you know, anywhere in any other sport. And I think it just it's a reflection of how passionate the, the players are and how passionate the fans are. And it's just awesome. Part of Most of the guys played last night, except for the Buffalo players, of yeah. course. It's tough enough. Does it take a minute to, to get generators, the crowd, and the occasion just have, take care of any adrenaline problems you might have? Yeah, I think uh, you know. I think everybody getting out there. There was, you know, if you would have listened to the players running around, there was lots of creaks. Probably sounded like an old house or an old barn <laughs> out there collectively as a unit. But um, you know, we uh, with Calgary, we had delayed flights and canceled flights, and then uh, you know, we flew in. Uh, uh, flew in yesterday morning to, to Colorado, and then we flew out right after the game. And you're sitting on an airplane, and you're stiff, and you're sore. And um, you know, but but again, you get here and you're in a great environment. You get running around, you loosen up, and, and you have a lot of fun. And you know, it's it's pretty easy to put the ball in the net when every pass is in your stick, and you know, you're playing with guys that, that, that make you so much better. So, again, just an honor. To be here. You had some real success with your shots dropping today too. Yeah, it just you know, it, it's the same. It, it's it's the same thing. It's just the guys around you. Everybody else is so focused on you know, John Grant Jr. can score from anywhere, John Tavares can score from anywhere, and all of a sudden, you know, guys pay a little bit more attention to them, and you're just in the right place at the right time, and the ball fans back the run, and, and you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those things, just a, just a good day. So I'm tired of coming in late. Did you think you'd turn out an MVP performance? No, not at all. It's one. Of, it's it's tough because you know you go and face off, and it's sort of a position where you know Max Max is such an incredible athlete, and they were putting up him up against me. And if if you don't try your hardest, you're, you're not going to win the face off. You know, it's one of those things where um, you know having the ball and, and being able to put it in the, in the stick of the guys that are out there playing is important. And um, you know it's a challenge when you're when you're playing such an incredible athlete like Max Seabold, and, and uh, he's a great lacrosse player. And, you know, it helps you uh, helps you just get fired up for the game a little bit. He was picking on me and, and, and giving me a run for my money. And it, was, uh, it was just um, it was just one of those things where you gotta you gotta step up or, or he's gonna eat you up. In an environment like this, are you, are you keeping track in your head? That's number three. That's number four. Or are you not counting how many times you put the ball in? No, it's it's just more about being out here with the guys. You know, there's but there's so many great players out there. It's you're more in awe of what of what they're doing than you know what you're doing. You look at you know the shots that John Grant Jr. is taking or the plays that Jeff Shatler's making or the saves that the goalies are making. And you, you don't really think about it. I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not going out there, and I can't do the stuff that they do, so I don't try to. You know, I, I started throwing some backhands in the start of the start of the game, and I was turning the ball over the, more than I was having any success with it. So you just, you know, you let the guys do what what they're best at doing, and that's what the fans are here to see. They're here to see those guys make those plays. And you know, I think the, one of the last goals that I had, John, you know, threw a backhand off the glass to me on the crease. And, you know, I, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just not shoot that. I'm not gonna try and follow that up with a backhand. That wouldn't be very appropriate. And, and and, um, you know, again, it just—it's a credit to the guys around you. They make you a better player. It's got to be different lining up for a faceoff with John Tavares. That doesn't happen too often for all the faceoffs you've taken. Yeah, he's scrap man. He's—I I asked him. He, he took a ball away from me late, and I was like, "Where did that gear come from?" Like, <laughs> like, so he, uh, you know, John's. There's a reason why he's, um, you know, he, he's got the records that he does, and he's the, the player that he is. He's an incredible athlete, and and a very, you know, a huge ambassador of this game, and, and a guy that you, uh, you know, you look up to as a player. And and um, you know, he's—it uh, wouldn't surprise me if he played forever so they're gonna they're gonna take him off the floor put him in a coffin and bury him somewhere I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> Oh, Maddie and I have some history. He's uh, he's a professional, though. He's a great guy. You know, he was just letting me know that, that he was there and, and acknowledging my presence. And uh, you know, guys were laughing on the bench. He, he addressed you, so it was uh, it was funny. He's uh, he's a great goalie. He's, you know, he's stepping up in, in Toronto, and, and um, you know, he's, there's a reason why he's here. And, you know, he's uh, he's a competitor, so I wouldn't expect anything less from him. Compared to last year, fewer goals, a closer game, not much basket hanging. Is that? more fun for you to play in a game like that when, you know, it, everything's go. I'm not saying it was all out regular season, but it yeah, seemed like a step up from a year ago to from what I saw last. 
last year? Yeah, you get it, you get late into the fourth quarter, and and it, it comes back to the type of guys that are representing a league here. They they want to win. We're not you know we're not here because we make a ton of cash. We're here because we love the game and, and uh, we like the group and, and we love the league. And uh, you know at the start of the game it, it's having fun, getting some stuff out of the way and, and entertaining. And then you know, when you break it down, it, it starts. You know, our transition started. If you looked at our transition coming out our back end, guys were sprinting up and down the floor and and um, you know it, it was one of those things where. You, you want to win, and that's why we're here. We're competitors, we're, you know, we're passionate people, and um, you know, it leads back to, to Mac giving me a tap, or you know, me jousting with Max a little bit is that we're passionate players, and I think that's what makes it great. Thanks, Jeff.